So welcome to my art and uh, wine and craft show. So tonight's show is uh, I'm upcycling an old blazer that I have, and it's been um, well, it's quite old. So we're gonna upcycle this, and every week we um, do a review of a wine. So this week we are drinking the wine from from Saint um, from Chile. It's Santa Cal Calonia. Uh, it's a Chardonnay, so I'm just gonna open it and I actually need a glass of wine, which I don't have. <clears throat> I'm gonna go get them. And to chill the wine, I put it in ice water, so to keep the wine a little bit cooler. And it's spring, so I don't know if you can see this, but um, I frozen uh, violet flower that um, that is grown out right now in Canada. So it's springtime, so it looks kind of pretty. So you can do this with your uh, glass. I'm just gonna pour myself glass. So we're gonna do so, some basic tasting test. If you haven't watched the show before, and basically I uh, do a review of a wine. It's usually an inexpensive wine. And the reason I do um, the show is because a lot of people get wine snob and it really just based on taste and bottom line is it's just our grape juice, right? So to understand some of them, so we go through the basic of the wine tasting, which we have. Um, so we go to uh, the taste, the smell, the sweetness, and the acidity. And so I'm just gonna put this aside for now. Um, if you haven't watched the show before, um, you can go get a glass of wine or uh, get something to drink or usually I pre-publish the wine and then you can just follow um, so this is what I did the last show so we do the um, the color and this add-on of an old t-shirt so I have stain on here so I'm just gonna cover them up so this week I'm gonna do a quote onto the back of the shirt uh, of the blazer and we're just gonna do a, um, a visual test so it's a beautiful Champagne color, it's nice and light. Mm, it's actually quite floral. So I got referred to this uh, wine when I went um, this research at this LCBO here in Ontario. So it have a nice floral smell to it. And I think this wine is supposed to be, um, I forgot what it say. It's a, well, we find out, right? So let's have a taste. So you want to pass it through. Hi, Jack. <laughs> so you're gonna be surprised what probe we're gonna to use tonight. So I have. I'm gonna do a probe on the back of the jacket. Um, so it's have a nice acidy wash over uh, afterward. So. I would debate in between two quotes, and this is a jacket that I wore while I bike. And so I thought it would be something fun. So we're gonna write a quote on this. So it said, I'm happy, go lucky, ray of fucking sunshine. So it's gonna be something funny to, to uh, for people to look at. And so it's have all these worn out area. What you can do, or I will do, is I'm just gonna cut this up a little bit more and then rush it so to make it a little bit older. And I'm gonna put some beads here on the top of the color because it's, uh, it has sun uh, damage on the shirt, right? So we need our glue gun. To write any type of probe you want on the t um, on a shirt or on a blazer, you want to make sure you space it out. So with this, what I did was I just go to the center line here. And then I just measure and I just divide it up. Right, you pre what write them down to how many um, line that you have and then you write them on. So I'm using Teller chalk. Do not use regular chalk. I saw somebody use them. Um, regular board chalk and it doesn't come off. So uh, you can use this type of chalk, it's called Taylor chalk, that you can um, basically steam and um, it 
basically kind of wax and then it will melt into the fabric and it does wash off but it needs um, pencil pen or regular uh, bar chalk it doesn't come off all right so I'm gonna put this aside and so I found these at the inexpensive store uh, so it's the dollar street or the um, a dollar store so whatever so some of these are from there and some of them I have supplied I don't remember which one I got so they from different area and then have a whole bunch of them so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use these to place on them and I'm gonna use this glue gun to do this hey Alejandro so let have another taste of wine so now we're gonna want to know what is uh, the acidity on this wine Mm. It's quite a beautiful wine. It have a velvety uh, aftertaste. The acidity is not too high. Um, let me see what did I wrote down for the um, the wine uh, the wine here. So it have a nice light aftertaste. And I feel the acid is not too high. It actually, the alcohol content is a little bit dry, but um, it, it's great. And if you haven't watched the show before, so every time I drink or mention the word wine, you should have a glass or a sip with me. All right, so now I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, have this written by glue gun and then after the glue gun uh, I'm also gonna crisscross it with um, a thread to have it longer but if you don't want to you can just leave it like that um, so these are the color I'm thinking of using and it's probably gonna get quite messy here um, so I'm gonna use a piece of paper to hold the glue gun and then I will use this later on for the bead so I'm gonna put this aside for now and if you want to ask question or please comment you can do so as well so I'm gonna put this aside for now so these are the beads that I'm gonna be using right so this is how I don't know if you can see them have a m multiple uh, color so I thought I would really cool and so I believe I got this at the uh, dollar tree or the dollar store I don't remember so I'm gonna use the blue gray and yellow in this and I'm gonna just sprinkle this on the on the uh, jacket so before I do that I make sure it doesn't get stained on the other side so I'm gonna clear everything out and I'm just gonna write down the probe that I'm gonna do so you may want to make sure you break it down nice and align and then you can use this as a guide to do what you need to do so cheer one so um, I also want to know if whatever you got drink it let me know so I'm always in uh, touch uh, to look for more cheap and inexpensive wine mm, I really actually like this white it would be I would say that it compared to the uh, the chenille uh, that we have earlier a couple of weeks back it doesn't have a floral, but it ha does have a really nice sweet aftertaste. So, I'm gonna to make it very even, the letter. Here. And then this would be where I would do the glue gun so 
So do the C here. So the crop I use is a little bit tongue in cheek and I have a little bit for vanity in it. So I thought that would be actually funny. Okay. And then here you go. So there, and we got almost finished. So I'm just gonna show you what they are before we add the feet into their into the um, right. So this is the sunshine here. So here you go. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so I thought this was going to be fun. Hey, Louise. All right. So now we're going to do the first one. So I'm going to open this. So I'm going to use blue. Um, so just make sure you a little bit so open this up place this here for now and i'm gonna open this one up as well uh, i think it glued down so yeah so these are different type of bee you can buy them you can get them at the dollar store if you want or pretty much wherever you it's inexpensive but so the reason I use the um, the glue gun for this is this hole of the bead is very very tiny so it's a little bit hard to uh, do the beading but uh, then special needle for that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, put glue on here So here you go, or here we go. Where are my glue? A little bit more here. So just straight down. So if you don't know, you can see it. I'm gonna add that in. And then you can always add more glue in on top of the glue one that you just put down. And I want to have a little sparkle, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the color into it. There you go. And it's a little bit messy, so we can clean that up later. So the whole idea is this doesn't have to be perfect, right? But you do want to make sure it's readable. So I'm not sure you can see this. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit more so you can see. And I'm gonna add a little bit more glue here. And then take a little bit, just sprinkle on top of it. And then the next letter. There you go. Oh, it actually looked quite nice. So it is summer now in Toronto. I have decided to, um, so the show will be only once a month now consider it's summer and I would be out and about and 
I will always be at home on a Friday night doing show. So you want to make sure it quite a little bit at a time. Add a little bit of extra something else on top. And so I'm using mostly blue in these letters. So the first line I'm doing the blue and kind of dark color. And you don't want to add too much. So you just want to do one line at a time. And then you just kind of make sure it keep its shape. Take out the one that you don't want. There you go. And we do the other side. A little bit at a time. A little bit of this. Sprinkle up that. And you got a unicorn. There you go. There you go. And pat it in so you want to pat in the B into the glue so it actually absorbed it in so it doesn't stay on the surface right and we continue so I'm gonna finish the first letter So you might not see this, but they beat everywhere on my desk right now. And just gonna add this in. So there you go. So the first letter is kind of a learning curve. I guess so I'm gonna put all this B out a little bit so I don't know if you can see it I actually like it it's actually fun so here you go so this the B got on the outside, which is fine. I don't mind. And you can go back, put a little bit more glue on this and just add it to cover up. So that the fun part about working with. So you see the difference here. Alright, now I'm going to continue to do the A. So bring this all together. Hi, Melanie. Oh, I actually like this wine. It's a nice light wine. And it's not too dry. gonna do the next letter so now that we kind of figure out how to do this so instead of doing the whole line I would just do half a bit cover it up and then add some more so that's the best way to do this I would say and I'm gonna add a little bit red just for the front of it so it doesn't look all too uniform and consider I don't think we're gonna have an up for the same blue for all of them so we're gonna use the blue blue has a base 
and then add the other bee on top and then to put all this in to kind of pat it down there you go and that actually look kind of fun and then we're going to do the other line the other option I was thinking is you can have this all the bead on a piece of paper and then you're gonna roll onto it and then add a little bit more blue and I'm gonna add a little bit more red here and there I'm gonna pat it down and take away the dry glue and then we have the main letter that done. So the first line is finished. There you go. And the A need a little bit longer. So what fun about this project is it easy it doable and and it can be done very quickly as well so to beat this leather into the jacket I would say it would take a long time so I think that a look done here I don't know if you can see it yeah there you go so I'm gonna continue doing the rest the happy so make sure it doesn't two one so let's talk about the body of the wine so the wine it I don't think it have a really bow body it's um it's a nice light touch to it Um, multitasking so I'm um, it have a beautiful aftertaste I would say I like the um, the aftertaste it have a nice wash floral washing down my mouth I didn't have the time today to uh, do research on this wine. Hi, Lana. mix it all up and we pat it down and now we're gonna do There you go, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a red just for fun, so just to make sure it's so pat everything down. There you go. So the H is done. We're gonna do the A. There you go. And so the other thing about this project is it kind of meditative as well is quite relaxing so if you want to do something that you have quite stressful art and craft it always 
make you feel very relaxed and zen like because what you're doing is to give your mind your body a chance to, to be instead of thinking be something be someone go somewhere so all this little thing is helpful for the mind because Einstein he did most of his um, innovation thinking and uh, thought it actually from when he not thinking so when he when I take a walk or uh, thing like that so it in important if you are um, wanting to use your mind more so you have to give your mind a break during the day sometimes just to let it uh, be and then process so to imagine your mind at the computer which it is and it needs to be processed sometimes so the process time it needs to be it so can you see it it's actually quite pretty I love it so yeah so my house is gonna be full of B which is okay you can just clean it up afterward. So that done. Now we're gonna do the two P. So the P is I'm gonna do the C the outside first, and I want you to oop, new blue different type of B. Add a little bit of green. And then let's do a little bit red. And a little bit more blue. And then pat it all down. And then we do the long letter, which is go. I love this. It's amazing. It actually turned out much better than I would imagine. I like it. So, if you haven't watched my show before, I usually have no idea. I never done any of this before. So, all this it kind of like. I thought it'd be a good idea to do it and I do it live and you basically would see if they have a mistake or whatever it would probably show and this is hard work I need a drink all right so we're gonna finish the piece this go and to get all this add it on it's quite messy in it here we go and what good about this is if you write or you put this and it kind of out shape you can always reshape it so just when it's slightly cooled down the glue you can just reshape it a little bit so here you go and there are a lot of dry glue everywhere so you can take it off and there you go put a little bit more here not a glue stick Ta -da. and i'm gonna add a little bit red 
and a little bit green. Just pat it all down. So, because this is the blazer, it's not going to be washed that regularly. So you can just leave it as it is as well. So you don't need to um, to cross stitches. So I'm a little bit anal with these things, so I will do a cross stitch with them. So it um, it lasts longer. But I think the glue is actually cemented into the fabric. So is a good way to do beading without actually have to do the actual work. So now we do the last letter of happy, which is the Y. So why are you happy? Do you need a reason to be happy? Which is the OH question that we all have. There you go. So it's nice and easy to do. You can just... So all the material here is from the dollar store. And some of them is actually... Um, well, I didn't use my expensive B yet. So, and I don't think I need it, but that could change had we do this. And to clear out all the excess so we can see the full letter. Pat it in. So you want the B to be inside the clue so it doesn't fall off, right? And here you go. So So there you go. So I don't know if you can see this. We have I'm happy. Right? And then I will continue doing the rest of this and finish it up. So let me tell you about the wine because an hour almost finished. Mm. So this wine, it's from Chile, and it say it have a tasting note of light lemon color. So definitely we need some more wine to do the tasting. I need to pour out the water. So there are reason this plant is here. So there you go. So it have a lemon, a light lemon color, vanilla. Definitely that very true. Slight tropical aroma with flavor, with subdued apple note. Yep. Um, so the, the vanilla, I definitely taste that, the floral that I told you earlier. Um, apple. Well, I can say the apple in the acidity. Yeah, so I would say that. So dry, it's a dry medium body. That's definitely true. And a well-balanced acidity and tangy lemon finish. So 
there you go so the tang and lemon finish i think i guess that the uh, tannin of the wine so the um i would say this is a good wine for the summer so i've been featuring a lot of uh, uh white wine because well it's spring and summer and now we have a heat wave which is like 30 degrees so it's wonderful so there you go and i will continue finishing this uh, up we have another 15 minutes so i want you to finish up telling you about the wine so it's not too sweet uh, the acidity is quite balanced uh, the tannin is um it have it in the aftertaste i would say uh, the alcohol content is um, in this wine is I don't have this here, but I know I have it on here. No, nope. let me double check the alcohol contents for you. So the alcohol contents of this wine is thirteen percent, which is quite high, and it only has seven seven gram of sugar. Uh, all this information will be on my uh, web page by Wednesday. Um, let me see what else. It's not too bold. It's um, it's a light wine, but I would say it have a very beautiful wash aftertaste. So this would be great for a single set, which is um, it before dinner. Have a drink in summer and serve with order at party actually be good and that's it so it will take me a little bit longer to do the rest of the jacket but i will show you what it looked like so far so i'm gonna do the rest of them and i think this is actually quite fun and I don't think I need to sew this afterwards. So if you want, you can actually do a crisscross of the. So this um, this feeds also on a lot of uh, what you call the um. The wine is kicking in, um, the sewing uh, group. So the the sewer, if you want to do handwork. You can basically do crisscross, so do X's or just kind of crisscross underneath and make sure you don't go into the lining and then you just go over each um, each line properly. Um, now, if you try this at home, so if you see this, it's the beginning of the letter and the letter kind of have a lot of clue. So what you can do is two things. that you can either just peel the glue off, which it does come off, right? So I, I peel the glue off completely. And then that's it. And then I will just add So here you go. It came off. And then what I do is I'm just gonna take back my bead because I'm running out of them so I don't think I have enough material to do the whole quilt but I do have so I but I will finish this back so this little part is here and we're just gonna add more glue back into it because this was the first letter that we did and we didn't re well I didn't really know how exactly it worked and ideally it should be on a flat surface so we can flat everything down and there you go and you put the B inside the glue and there you go. So you fix it. So there you go. So if it, you make mistake, you can just do that, and it looks brand new again. 
and the thing with the glue gun it will last um, for about two three washes um, if you want to secure it down you can just do cross stitch uh, if you don't it's fine but um, there you go I hope you enjoyed the show and next um, would be next month actually I would do the show um, the next show so it would be the last Friday of the month so next month show I will future we future a red um, wine from Fantini uh, and it won international war and it only like nine eight eighty about eight dollar or nine dollar Canadian which is quite inexpensive uh, but I haven't drank the white before so I thought it would be a good idea to try the white I'm not sure um, if it's not good, I and I would to make it a uh, sangria of them, right? So this uh, Fantini, it also a Chardonnay. It's also another white, and it have a tasting note of, um, it say, a golden, a gold yellow color, green apple, citrus vanilla nose, dry medium body, with rip citrus. So. I don't know yet, but um, I taste this uh, really uh, ripe um, lemon from a lemon tree, and that is actually very, very flavorful. So to say it ripped from a lemon citrus, it's quite a high note, so I will try that out. Apple fruit, butterscotch flavor, hint of toast on the finish. So it have, it's supposed to, I guess the hint of toast would be a burn nose. Uh, kind of ish and then crisp dry and a long finish that would be interesting so there you go i hope you enjoy the show um i will finish this up and you will see them um by wednesday i guess